Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to create a um, punch punch hole inside the mesh. Whatever you want to call it. Just I'm going to show you how to create holes inside mesh. There you go. That's a better way of putting it. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, this is this is this is how I do it. Uh, I know there's other ways of doing it, but this is how I do it. After seeing another tutorial on YouTube, I figured I'd show you guys as well. Um, credit to um, Chris. I don't know if he's still around. I should check up on him later. Okay, well anyway. Okay, so as you can see I created a mesh. A a just just a simple one by one mesh or a surface if you want to call it. Right, um, okay, so what I did I specified the points to be one and one because uh, I didn't want to go too fancy or too advanced on this. Because this is just for demonstration purposes. So now what I'm gonna do to actually um, create create the actual casting casting for the hole that we're gonna do is Okay, let's move that. That's kind of annoying. Okay, now we're gonna create a cylinder. Um, don't don't go too big because then it's gonna make things really difficult. So I'm gonna create my cylinder. Usually default is eight, but this time I'm gonna do ten. Just just so you guys can get a better idea on what's actually going on. Okay, so I'm gonna go under sub mesh. Actually, no, never mind. Scratch that. Not sub mesh. Insert. That's where you want to go. You want to go to insert. Uh, you're gonna go under edge mode, not not polygon, not vertex, but edge. Okay, so now I'm under edge mode. Okay, so as you notice, as you probably noticed, uh, whenever I try hovering over a blank region, it won't let me select anything. However, if I go right where the line is, it'll let me select. That's 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 what you want to do. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make basic, um, basic. I'm just, I'm just gonna click along the lines. That's all I'm gonna do. Now you may notice it may start to go a little off course. Don't worry about this. Um, what I'm basically doing is I'm visualizing where, where, where this line ends and where this line meets. Now I'm just gonna click there. Uh, you don't have to worry if it's like way out of range or anything like that. You can always you can always clean that up later. It's not that big of a deal. So as you can see, I'm just clicking around the the area. Okay, so okay, so we basically have a, a a a cutout. Now what I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to actually I'm gonna select it. Oh by the way I'm under select uh, quadrilateral mode. Selected mode. Oh well I guess it didn't do it. Okay well anyway. Okay well I, I press I press three which got me into polygon mode. You're gonna want to go into polygon mode because it makes it easier on you to actually clean it up. Okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete it. Now that I've deleted it, I went under vertice mode. So then from here, it get it gets a lot easier. You can just um, you can basically just move it move it around, move it around the um, the uh, circumference of the circle. So now you may notice that in the cutout process, I left one extra vertex behind. Um, this is not that big of a deal. So, so don't don't fret if this happens. What, what you want to do to clean it up though is go under sub mesh and then go under weld. What welding does is it, it, it basically conjoins two two vertices together just to just to give it a cleaner look. So now that I have that, I know it's not perfect, but but then again, this is just for demonstration purposes only. So, so yeah, don't don't worry don't worry about that. So the end result, you have a cutout in your surface. And then from here you can you can create copies, do whatever, arrange it into a grill pattern. But it just doesn't apply with with uh, circles. You can do it with with let's say squares or triangles. I know it sounds stupid when I'm saying that, but but I'm, what basically I'm trying to get at is uh, you can use this for like uh, 3D text. Like if you want to actually make a outline of your of your text, you can you can use the same procedure, only not with circles. You're using text. So. So that's basically all there is to it. Um, I will try and do more tutorials if, if anyone wants to see, if anyone wants to see how I do certain things, then then yeah, just let me know and I'll get around to doing more tutorials. Uh, until then, I hope this helps some of you people. Um, just if you're learning Zmod, this is this will be a nice nice little way to help. So yeah, that's basically all there is to this little uh, demonstration. You're all dismissed.